I'm Michael Fisher, and I'm soaking up the scenery in Germany with the dual cameras of the LG V30. This is a first look. Three things. First, this video comes to you from the IFA Technology Show in Berlin. Second, it's brought to you by dbrand. And third, subscribe to The Mr. Mobile on YouTube if you want to see more. If you thought the V30 might look like its predecessors, join the club. I was expecting another steel-sided monster from a key grips toolbox with gaff tape patching the scuffs. Instead, we get this, a spit-polished glass sandwich of a smartphone that's much lighter in the hand than you expect. It bears a closer resemblance to the LG G6 than any of its V-series forebears. In fact, if you put this phone in my hand and told me it was a G7 prototype from the future, I'd probably believe it. LG stepped up the industrial design, smoothed out some of the G6's rougher edges, and stepped it up on the specs front. Yes, of course, I'm talking about the usual stuff, the higher-end processor, the fact that every model now has wireless charging. But more importantly, this is the first LG flagship in a long time to ditch LCD for AMOLED display technology. The result is a brighter, more colorful screen that should be more power efficient as well. The V30 also builds in a very subtle, almost undetectable curve to the glass, and it ditches the dedicated second screen of the V10 and V20, building that functionality into a software feature called the floating bar. The strange part of me that's all for weirdo things like second screens mourns its passing, but let's be real, this is probably a smart move. Despite that victory for conformity on the front, I'm happy to say that there's still a party in the back. LG's dual camera setup is still the only one to blend standard and super wide angle fields of view, so you can turn shots like this into shots like this. This is probably a good time to tell you the unit I've been testing is non-final hardware running incomplete software, so don't judge the output quality at this point. But you probably can see that the wide angle photos don't have as much of the fisheye distortion as the pics from the G6 did. That's one of the big changes LG made to the still side of this camera, and when you flip over to the camcorder, bam, features galore. The V in this brand always informally stood for video, and that continues to be the focus for this one. LG gives you 15 different color grading options out of the box for quickly applying a scenic effect. And if you want to go full manual, you can even shoot in log format, which is something professional videographers use. It's a means of preserving more dynamic range and tonality. And probably the coolest feature in my book is point zoom. You tap on a subject and start zooming, and the zoom will follow the subject as it crops in, instead of just punching in on the center of the frame. Naturally, I can't render anything close to a final verdict after just a few days with a pre-production sample, but you don't need to be Nostradamus to see that the V30 is about to become the very best Android alternative to Samsung's Galaxy Note 8. And this time, it's in a package that's actually pretty. I mean, it's beautiful, it's accessible, and it's still water resistant and durable as well. In the Android world, it's tough for anyone to take the spotlight from Samsung, but if any LG phone can do it, it's the V30. Pricing and availability are TBD, and a full review is coming soon, but I can tell you today that not many colors are coming to the US, at least not at first. So if you want your V30 to stand out or you just want to protect that Gorilla Glass 5 from your gross Dorito fingers, consider a premium vinyl skin from today's sponsor, dbrand. Hit the link in the description and one more time, if you want Mr. Mobile videos to keep landing in your inbox, please subscribe at The Mr. Mobile on YouTube. Until next time, thanks for watching and stay mobile, my friends.